the DHNYC definition of the New York City disability rights movement. Self-determination, a productive and meaningful life, that's what the New York City disability rights movement is all about. The ability to decide how you want to live, to do what you want to do, to travel, study, work, socialize, go to events, make your own decisions, things non-disabled people take for granted. In the past, to the extent that there were efforts to deal with the situation of people with disabilities, those efforts were mostly controlled by others. Around the turn of the 20th century, that meant professionals and more or less distant, usually elite, non-disabled people. In the mid-20th century, it meant parents' groups like United Cerebral Palsy and the original incarnation of the Brooklyn Center for Independence of the Disabled. Just as the racial civil rights movement's struggle for political power and self-representation meant that it had to develop organizations powered by people from the community itself, the disability community had to develop grassroots organizations that were actually led by people with disabilities. In New York City, that process began in the early 1960s, thanks to founding organizations like the Handicap Drivers Association and the Architectural Barriers Committee. It continued as the boomers reached maturity with Disabled in Action and a host of other entities, all based on the idea of people with disabilities organizing and advocating in their own interest. Over the 60 years since its beginning, the New York City Disability Rights Movement has pioneered historic changes in the city's physical form and political life, which have greatly expanded opportunities for New Yorkers with disabilities. And along the way, this branch of the American Civil Rights Movement has developed a substantial community and social, cultural, and arts complex. That is the DHNYC definition of the New York City Disability Rights Movement.